In this lesson, we're going to learn how balanced chemical equations help us to understand that there are ratios uh, between the reactants and the products. So for example, in this uh, equation, we see that uh, it is balanced. And if we look at the coefficients, these uh, coefficients of the balanced equation form what's called a mole ratio. So what that means is that these substances, these reactants and products, are acting as kind of like a recipe to show how reactants combine with each other to make products. Now what that means is, we know Na is sodium, so two atoms of sodium are going to combine with one, there's understood to be a one here, one formula unit of lead to nitrate to produce two units of sodium nitrate and one unit of lead, one atom of lead. Well, most of the time we don't like to count atoms or molecules or formula units because they're very, very tiny. So instead of doing that, we talk about the mole. That's a very convenient unit to use. It's a much larger uh, number of atoms or molecules or formula units, and so we use that. And so we talk about how uh, this equation is telling us that two moles of sodium are going to combine with one mole of the lead to nitrate to form two moles of sodium nitrate and one mole of lead atoms. And so these coefficients are forming a recipe. It's telling us that, for example, the sodium to lead nitrate or lead to nitrate ratio is two to one. It's a two to one ratio. Now let's see how this helps us to answer a few questions about this uh, reaction. Here is the equation again, but this time we're going to look at this question and see if we can answer that. This time it says how many moles of lead, which is PB, can be produced from two moles of sodium, Na. Well, if you look at the balanced equation, we see that it's a two to one ratio of sodium to lead. So if we start with two moles of sodium, hopefully you can see that we're going to have one mole of lead produced. And how do we determine that? Well, just look at the coefficients. It's two to one. So two moles of sodium to one mole of lead. Now what, what if we try another example? This time let's look at this question. Here we have how many moles of lead can be produced from 0.55 moles of lead to nitrate? So this time we're once again asking how many moles of lead, but this time we have 0.55 moles of PbNO32, lead to nitrate. Well, what's the ratio between lead to nitrate and lead? Well, hopefully you can see that the, that the coefficients for both of those are one. So it's a one to one ratio. So that means that if it's a one to one ratio and we have 0.55 moles of lead to nitrate, we're gonna have 0.55 moles of lead produced. And so, that's the answer, 0.55 moles of lead. Let's try one more example here. This one may be a little bit tougher. This time it says, how many moles of sodium nitrate, NaNO3, can be produced from 6.1 moles of lead to nitrate? So once again, we're starting with 6.1 moles of lead to nitrate, and the question is, how many moles of NaNO3? This time, do you see that the mole ratio is one to two? So if it's a one to two ratio, and we have 6.1 moles of lead to nitrate, how many moles of sodium nitrate are we gonna have? Do you see that it's gonna be twice as many, since it's one to two? So whatever 6.1 times 2 is, which is 12.2 moles of sodium nitrate. And so this is just an introduction uh, to what's called mole ratios. 
And we're going to be using these mole ratios uh, to solve more advanced problems called stoichiometry problems here uh, later in the chapter.